Hello friends. So we'll go for uh, one more problem on a cone clutch. So the problem definition is an uh, uh, design a cone clutch to transmit uh, 20 kilowatt power at 900 RPM. Assume a shear stress of 42 megapascal. Now the given data is only the power and uh, the speed and shear stress here. Okay. So if you note down given data, we have given power, this is what, 20 kilowatt, speed, 900 RPM, and uh, shear stress tau, it is 42 megapascal. Okay. Right. Now, in this situation, uh, they have not provided uh, either dimensions or either uh, specifications or any helix angle and all those things. Uh, as I said, uh, in a uh, derivation of uh, the torque in uh, analysis, uh, that is what uh, torque analysis is uh, based on uniform uh, pressure theory and uh, uniform wave theory. Now, if they are not provided any dimensions, you need to design a complete cone clutch based on the shaft diameter. Okay? Based on the shaft diameter. Now, as they are given uh, the shear stress, as they are given shear stress, now first you need to calculate uh, the shaft diameter. You need to calculate the shaft diameter. Now, to calculate shaft diameter, uh, you can refer equation from uh, design of shaft chapter. You can refer equation uh, from design of the shaft chapter. Let's give some problem. Now you can directly calculate D equal to cube root of sixteen T divided by pi top. Now T you need to calculate this is what uh, 9.55 into 10 to 4 of 6 into P divided by N. So calculate torque. So once you got the value of torque, you substitute in diameter equation. So you are going to get the diameter. Okay. So now once you got the diameter, let us if you calculate diameter uh, for this uh, problem, uh, you are going to get a diameter as a twenty nine point five two. Diameter as a twenty nine point five two 
go for standard diameter referring a uh, design data and book as what a chapter number three i think uh, table number 3.2a table number 2.3 a uh, 3.2a you will get a uh, the standard diameters now let us take uh, a diameter here it is a 30 mm diameter is a 30 mm So now once you got the diameter, uh, now based on diameter proportionate, uh, you can select the mean diameter. You can select the mean diameter. Okay. So to get the mean diameter, I think you have come across formulas. So here the mean diameter can be taken as 5 times shaft diameter to 10 times of shaft diameter. Let us go for uh, diameter mean diameter I'll take a maximum and that is what a 10D okay I'll take a 10D so now mean diameter it is 10 10 into 32 you are going to get a 320 mm 320 mm is the main diameter. Now, how much you will get main diameter dm equal to so 320 mm already calculated, right. Now, what type of material you need to select and what is the coefficient of friction it has to be okay. and uh, all those things uh, you need to identify based on velocity here, based on velocity. Now let us calculate uh, the velocity, velocity V is equal to what pi dn divided by 1000 by you got a mean diameter here it is a now 320 rpm is 900 divided by 1000 16 to 1000 to get a value in uh, meter per second i think you are going to get a uh, 15 point 0 0.08 meter per second okay. now velocity v is 15.08 meter per second now for selection of uh, the properties or the condition to have the the velocity ratios Now peripheral velocity for high speed you need to go for leather faced coupling here. Now the velocity calculated velocity remains between the value of 13 to 25 meter per second. Okay. Now based on this you go for assuming the leather faced uh, coupling uh, that is what uh, lining on cone clutch. So now based on uh, velocity, so what is the condition for uh, leather faced linings? This velocity has to be in between 13 to 25 meter per second. Now the calculated velocity is 15.08 meter per second. So now based on this one, uh, we'll go for selection of the materials. Okay. Now let us assume uh, it is a uh, leather faced lining because the velocity is going to be 
form between the values 13 to 25 meter per second okay. now leather face lining on cast iron okay. cast iron with the uh, uh, condition uh, let us uh, go for uh, the properties based on uh, the leather uh, and the cast iron we'll uh, consider the values from table number 3.4 now in this case uh, I have selected leather here okay cast iron or cast steel now for wet condition coefficient of friction is 0 0.12 to 0 0.15 for dry condition it is 0 0.35 sorry 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 and maximum working temperature is 90 degrees celsius and the maximum pressure is what 0 0.07 mega pascal to 0 0.29 mega pascal and relatively cost it is a very low now let us go for the consideration of value between these are uh, maximum and minimum value between maximum and minimum value now let us assume So coefficient of friction this is what f equal to 0 0.14 this is what between 0 0.12 to 0 0.15 we have consider it as a wet condition okay next to the fresh air we'll go for 0 0.8 sorry we'll go for point, uh, 0 0.18 this is what 0 0.07 to 0 0.29 mega pascal Now you can consider the semicone angle alpha equal to 12.5 degrees. 12.5 degrees. Now all these uh, data are selected from design data handbook. Okay, this is what referring table number 3.4. Now this is what uh, based on uh, uh, condition. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, based on the values, uh, 10 to 25 degrees. Say, degrees you can select uh, this uh, semicolon angle 12.5 uh, please uh, uh, cross check this uh, alpha values referring design data and book okay? now as a given now uh, the power you can uh, calculate the value of uh, B that is what uh, width of uh, cone clutch width of cone clutch so uh, referring the power equation referring the power equation so we have a power equation here so we have a power equation here that is what equation number 13.10e that is what equation number 13.10e now we'll notify the equation now we'll notify the equation okay. let us go for power equation this is what uh, equation number 13.10e from design data and book now what is the equation p equal to pi square dm square b p into f into n divided by 10 to 4 of 6 into kl okay. kl is a load factor KL is the load factor. Now, since a uh, combination of uh, cup and cone is not specified, 
and what type of uh, load it's going to get on the clutch let us assume the load factor kl equal to 1 here kl equal to 1 i think uh, except value of b you know all values here dm is known p is known f is known n is known okay p is also known now let us calculate uh, the value of b here b what will get uh, p into 10 to 4 of 6 into kl divided by pi square dm square p f n now p is 20 kilowatt into 10 to 4 of 6 okay kl is 1 pi square 320 square p is 0.18 F is 0. Point, uh, how much made assumption? F. F for 0. 0.14. Okay. F 0. 0.14. N is 900. Now, if you calculate, you are going to get a B. Face with the B as 53.25 mm. So make this value approximately to the higher one 55 mm. Now you need to check whether the calculated value B is going to satisfy the, the ratio equation or not. So ratio equations uh, it is what uh, you have noted uh, in design data and book. Okay. Now ratio equation is what uh, Q equal to dm by b that is what equation number 13.10h equation number 13.10h now let us go for uh, checking b check for B now refer is on the Dian book equation number 13.10H so what is the equation 13.10H so Q equal to dm by B this has to be in a range from 4.52 it has to be in range from 4.5 to 8 okay 4.5 to 8 now let us substitute uh, check dm is 320 okay and uh, b is 55 you don't get to 5.82 okay now in this case, uh, the calculated value of B is safe. Calculated value B is 55 mm, it is a safe. Once you got the value of B, you need to check uh, the value of, uh, you need to calculate the value of uh, inner diameter. Now in this case, look out, if the range is not going to satisfy, that is what uh, the ratio of dm by B, it should be between 4.5 to 8. If it more than 8 or if it is less than 4.5, either you need to change the shaft diameter that means you need to increase the shaft diameter or you need to go for proportionate value of uh, dm with respect to the diameter of shaft now in this problem what have we done we have took the value of uh, mean diameter is uh, maximum value that is about 10 times of the shaft diameter okay? now as it is not uh, possible uh, that means we got a right uh, correct answer here 
if you got a wrong value, that is what uh, if the value is not going to satisfy the range, then you need to increase this shaft diameter in this problem. That is what if the B dm by B is less than 4.5, it is less than 4.5, you need to change the value of shaft diameter. Okay. Next. Now we calculate uh, the diameter here, clutch diameters. We have noted uh, dm, it is what a 320 mm, okay, and b, it is 55 mm, right? Alpha, we made assumption that it is a 12.5 degree. Now, based on sin alpha relation, this is what sin alpha relation, dm minus b1, sorry, dm minus d1 divided by b. Need to cross check whether this equation is right or wrong. Okay, now you got value of dm here. Now this is of the value of b. Okay, now this is what d1. Now to get the value of uh, okay, this one. So now this value is what uh, dm minus d1 right and this value is alpha now this value is b by 2 i think this has to be b by 2 sorry it is right okay now this distance is uh, dm minus d1 by 2 b by 2 b by 2 b, dm minus uh, d1 by 2 are going to get cancel here okay now this is what a by 2 we are going to get it cancel here now the equation is right that is what sin alpha equal to dm minus d1 divided by b if you substitute the value now d1 equal to what sin alpha into b plus sorry okay what will get uh, dm minus d1 equal to sin alpha into b now d1 equal to what dm minus sin alpha into b this is 320 minus sin 12.5 into beta value is 50 sorry b value is 55 now d1 equal to approximately 308 mm okay. Now similarly you can calculate D2, D2 is equal to what dm plus sin alpha into b. Now dm is 320 plus sin alpha is 12.5 into 55. I think you are going to 332 mm here. 332 mm. Now once you got the dimensions, you need to calculate uh, uh, the axial force uh, to transmit the torque, axial force to require to engage the uh, clutch and uh, the frictional force, okay? frictional force as well as uh, the normal force. Okay? Now let us go for first uh, the calculation of uh, axial force to transmit the torque. So equation is F A equal to pi into dm into b into p into sine alpha. Okay. Now if you substitute the value and if you calculate you are going to get F A equal to 154.31 Newton. 
now we can calculate normal force which is in the uh, uh, perpendicular direction of the lining material fn equal to what fa divided by sin alpha fa is a uh, I think uh, you check this value with your calculator. Okay. Phi 320 55 into P is 0.18 sin 12.5. Okay. I think uh, 9. I think you are going to get this is 2154. 2154 divided by sine 12.5 okay. now this is equal to 9952.57 newton okay this is what uh, the normal force fn is 9952.57 newton so next you calculate uh, the frictional force the frictional force so what f of a equal to f a into e f okay so the frictional force of f n into f now point of one four into nine thousand nine hundred fifty two point five seven we will get uh, 1394 newton here. Right. Next, the axial force required to engage the clutch. So next, uh, the axial force required to engage the clutch. This is what F A dash equal to F N into sine alpha plus F into cos alpha. Fn is 9952.57. Okay. Into sine 12.5 plus cos. Okay. Cos 12.5. Okay. We want to get uh, around about 3514 Newton. Excel force required to engage the clutch. Okay. 